Hello paper crafters, I have a fun new product for you. These are the ready uh, paper sheets that go along with the Nellie Snellen punches to give you dimensional looking flowers when you use her punches. I have, a, I have some of the newer Nellie punches in stock and I can order you anything if you don't mind waiting on a pre-order. Now how these work is you get your the paper here, I'm going to bring this up and do this. There's this nice little directions on here. You take your punch to the paper and there, if you notice, there are some lines here to align your paper up and you can punch the paper aligning your punch with those lines or you can flip your punch over and punch it out, which is what I like to do. After you punch your um, paper out, here it is showing punching. You put it in the embossing punch, punch down and emboss it. Then you get this lovely dimensional flower because the way the paper is colored and created, it makes it realistic looking. Then you put a brad through a spacer and you get that beautiful flower and then you can attach it to paper with the brad. So it's really a great invention that they came up with. And you get nine sheets of all different colors. These are the blue tones. These are the pink tones, kind of um, as opposed to, I want to show you this pink. This is a more salmon color pink and this is a more kind of a purple pink. And then we have some greens with some shades of white. These are kind of like beige and tan. These are our purples. These are our yellow and oranges. And these are the white. And these are the red tones. So you get all these beautiful colors in one set. Now they're just not, this set co co coincides with Punch, Nelly Punch FLP002. There is also for FLP003, you can see that's a little bit bigger. And there is also FLP006, different flower, isn't that pretty? And then there is FLP007. Now the numbers I'm giving you are the punch numbers of Nellie Snellen and these are the flowers and each one of these sets has all the different kind of papers. Now FLP 013 is cool, it's the poinsettia so you can get kind of a poinsettia um, kind of effect and the poinsettia one doesn't come in the multicolors. it's more of the true poinsettia colors and here let me just open it and show you. We'll make it a little bit easier that way. Um, the poinsettia ones come in the red the pink, darker reds, pink, white, pink, the reds, and the darker reds. So it comes in true poinsettia colors because you wouldn't want like say orange poinsettias. And then we also have the bigger poinsettia punch, FLP014, and then we have FLP 027, this little punch, and then we have FLP 028, see that, and then we have FLP 030, and then we have FLP 020. So those are the punches that we have and that we can that I can get the punches for you if you don't have them. A lot of you already have the Nelly punches. I also have to go along with this release the brads and these are floral brads. They come in a lot of colors but for I bought yellow. If you need another color for a special project I can special order but they do have glitter on them. I don't know if there you can kind of see the glitter lighting up there and they're very pretty brads and they're made for the flowers. And then I bought a few of the different spacers. If Nelly has different ones, if you want to see if I can get them for you, by all means email me and I'll special order them. But for this release, I just put a nice little package together. These are the, um, the, the spacers, these littler ones. They're um, number one. Put those there. 
And then I also have the number two. They're a little bigger. You can see those. And then I have also number three. And those are um, more like a kind of like a pretty star shape. And then these are kind of a fun shape too. That's why I tried to give you a diverse set. This is FLP006. So we have the different ones. You can kind of see them in comparison there of what they are. Really fun. Now Patricia um, Best did this order for me. And she did a wonderful job with the release. I meant to say release, excuse me. And I just want to show you some of the neat things she created with all of these. So this first one um, she used right here. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Now um, you can see, I'm going to bring up closely so you can see how this um, flower right there, how beautiful and dimensional it looks see if I can even bring it a little closer and it looks very realistic from the way that Reddy created them and what she said that she did with these is she used stickles as well as some Sculpey glaze on some of them to deepen the colors and give them a richer look and the glaze does a couple of other things as well it helps the flowers hold their shape and secures any glitter or stickles that may be applied after you emboss the flowers and she also said that on some of the flowers she rolls the tips um, of the petals to give them more depth and hold their shape. And then with this um, punt, I'm going to just flip right over here. She used um, LR0130 as the designer doily. That's this doily right here. I can special, I actually have that in stock if you're looking for that. And then the punches she used, she used number two, three, and 20. So this is two, three, and 20 are the punches. So she used the different size and sizes and layered them. This right here is also one of the rose leaf punches that I can get you if I don't have in stock. Beautiful, beautiful um, look to how this is and very simple to do. You make these up very quickly. And then I'm going to show you another creation she made. She made this lovely tag for me and you can see she put inside thank you for shopping at Dutch Paper Crafts and then my blog spot and she tucked this and she tucks these in and they were just little thank you she said I could give to some of my customers. Isn't that sweet? Now let me tell you what she used here. She used Nellie Snellen Punch 6 and 7 for the for the paper sets if you're interested and this is a memory box die and I do have these in stock it's number 98347 it's called the pocket tag and it's a fun die it makes this wonderful tag with a has a little circle it cuts out and then it you fold it up and it creates this wonderful little pocket that you can slip things in and you can see how beautiful Patricia made this with the little bow and these little filigree sticking out here and it's just such a sweet sweet thing that you could make for somebody as a gift or if you have a little business to tuck one of these tags in with when you sell something or just to give somebody as on a gift beautiful the next one I want to show you is she made this um, card top right here and she just put some backing and then we have the die here, one of the um, Marianne dies. I can flip it over and tell you which one it is. It's Holly Gar Garland, number LRO127. And the punches she used were 13 and 14. And you can see that she added some of that Sculpey glaze to it that gives it this shellac -y look and a very different kind of look with the glitter added to it. So um, beautifully shows off that um, Marianne die too. I bet people are going to be wanting that now. And then how beautiful the poinsettias come um, out with the punch. Okay. And then we have this sweet one, another tag with the flower. And it is the memory box pocket tag number 98347 
and she used the Nellie Snellen punches 27, 28, and 30. And also there's that memory pocket tag again, and it's number 98347 if you're interested in ordering that. And I'm going to bring this up close so you can see this beautiful floral here. Give my camera a second to adjust. And you can just see by punching those how the it comes out with the dimension and the added depth because of how the paper is. The paper has that dimension in it. When you punch it, it creates a wonderful creation. The next one I want to show is she used the Marianne Craftable Square CR1203 to create this outline right here. That's a really nice die. I didn't sell as many of these as I thought I would, but I don't think people realize how beautifully these cut and um, emboss. And then she used the Nelly Snellen Punch 6 and 7 ready paper here and made that beautiful um, flower in the center. So I'm just going to bring it up close so you can see that beautiful flower. Give my camera a second to adjust and also the edges of that die. So you can, you're beginning to see the possibilities that you can make with these. And it really is a lot of fun to do. Now here's a tag um, where she made and she just put a little thank you in there, stamped a nice little thank you and put it in. This isn't the memory box tag. This is just another tag that she had a regular tag and she was hand making these um, little surrounding things to go around them using her Martha Stewart border punches and that's something else you can consider. And this is the t tag number um, using Nellie Snellen punches 28 and 30 and buying the set that corresponds with that. And I'm just going to show you how pretty that is. You can see, and there's a, just a regular little brad in there too. You don't have to use the sparkly ones. You can use whatever you like. You don't even have to use a brad. You can adhere them with glue and put a bead or something on there. Now, the next one is beautiful too. Again, we have a beautiful little tag created here with our memory box and slip out my directions there. And again, she just puts the little tag that says, thank you for shopping at Dutch Paper Crafts. And I believe this is a, um, I believe this is a Spellbinders uh, deckle edge die and I can special order those for you too if you're looking for something to fit in there. And what she used was the Nellie Snellen punches 2, 3, 20 and she used the Nellie spacers and she used the memory box pocket tag number 98347. So I'm just going to bring that up close so you can see the details. Give my camera a minute there to adjust and you can see how nicely and beautiful those punches look. They really are easy and fun to work up. So if you've got a project, for example, if you have to make something wedding or some Christmas tags and a bunch of them, these punch up quickly, no coloring, no looking for the perfect paper, adds dimension and a very elegant look quickly. The next one we have right here and it's um, the beautiful showing the red and some again that rose uh, that's a Nellie Snellen punch as well and the creatables this creatables if you're interested in what that is we'll flip it over it's LRO129 it's a doily and she used 27 28 and 30 to make this punch I'm going to just show you right there isn't that pretty and then there is the brad, and then there's the spacer in the center. And you can just see, it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun to do. If you like your, if you have the Nelly punches and you enjoy them, you have to get these papers. If you don't have any Nelly um, punches, buy one. Buy one of the numbers we have, buy a corresponding set of paper and give it a try and see if you like it. It'll be a lot of fun. If you don't have a Nelly Snellen punch yet, you have to get at least one to play with. And then this is a beautiful, beautiful one. This is um, a Christmas one. And she used the Nellie Snellen 13 and 14 punches with a spacer and a little brad in there. And she used, again, that memory box pocket tag, number 98347, that I do have in stock as well. 
and I just want to show you how beautiful that is up close. We've got that beautiful ribbon, some green feathers on there that she used, and how pretty that poinsettia looks and some little holly that she punched out. Uh, the Nellie has a new holly punch too that Patricia didn't have when she made this release. It's out now. I just got them in, so if you're interested in the Nelly Holly Punch, you can let me know. It punches out Dimensional Holly. And it's just so nice. You, you pull out this tag, and these themselves are precious little gifts. You can also um, put little treats in here, like one of those little Hershey individual candies, or a little candy cane. Just something nice if you want to give somebody a small little gift. Remember, little items will fit in there, too. And then the last one here, this um, uses the LRO182, that's the ornament here, and then she put all the kind of poinsettia dies around it. And the dies she used, I'm just going to flip over so I can give you the, um, it is, she used 13, 14, and 15. FLP 013, 014, 015. Oh, and she also used 98187, the memory box woodland branch. Um, let me see, the memory box. Oh, right here. And I have that in stock as well. I can give you that. And right here is that branch in the background. I almost missed it. The little poinsettias were covering it up. And I believe this edging is a Martha Stewart punch. And I just want to bring these up closely. And you can see, this would make a beautiful ornament to give somebody. Adhere two of those back to back. And that's so pretty, just to put on a little package as a, a little in, in lieu of a bow. Or to add it to a bow to give it some dimension. And then you see the pink poinsettia. The, um, the kind of between pink and red poinsettia. And the red poinsettia. So these make up beautiful, beautiful creations quickly. I hope you enjoy this video and learn something and I hope you um, are crafting today and everyone take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.